Oh boy. It kind of feels weird that a week has passed, and only a week. A lot has happened. A lot a lot has uh, been going down. Um, I just want to get this out of the way before anybody, like, before anybody wastes their time. If you're here for any, like, follow-ups on the Four Terrific thing, that's not what I'm here to do. This is literally me just talking about my week specifically to myself. Not anybody's supposed to be able to see this. It's all public, just, you know, in case, you know, it's public because I want to look it up on my own time and I don't want to have to switch accounts every single time that I want to view this. So if you're here for any sort of four terrific thing or anything like that, or just here wasting your time, uh, that's fine. You can be here if you want, but just realize that there's going to be absolutely nothing for you here. And that's, it's your choice to make. Um, so regarding that, disregarding that actually, moving completely away from that, Oh boy, this week has been eventful. I guess I should start at the start of it and what I mentioned before. Um, right after I uploaded the last stream, I noticed that this one account had shown up and commented like, Hey, this is a good vid and you should do more content. Hey, more people should subscribe to you. Let's collab or something like that. And I uh, was like, that's weird. That showed up before this was even uploaded. And so I like poked around and saw that this four terrific guy was kind of just... It's just dropping dropping off at a bunch of other people's uh, channels and being all the same message and stuff like that. Either it's like a very aggressive campaign for this guy who's using like a completely different account for himself. I don't understand how the whole like thing works, but it just screamed a scam to me. So I uploaded a video on this channel saying that uh, uh, warning about four terrific and being like, do stay away from this. It's just probably scam do not engage with it in any way and you know hopefully we can just move past it and the rest of the week was me just kind of like following along this sort of witch hunt that I feel like I started and people were just starting putting out videos um pretty much with the same message as mine being like hey Watch out for four terrific guy. He's just scamming your accounts, trying to get subscribers off of you people. So just block him. Don't do anything like that, or don't don't uh, talk to him or anything like that. And uh, one of the most chilling ones that I saw was a video where a guy, uh, I think it was like anonymous, calls out four terrific and stuff like that. And it's like, oh god, this is freaky. I. I don't remember the specific videos. I did like save it just so I can like pull it up later on because that was, that was the most that was the most chilling part of that whole thing. This guy uh using some sort of some sort of software to change his voice to make it all super creepy and stuff. It was weird. Um the highlight of the whole thing came when a, a certain channel called Bozak the Sneak was like, "Hey, can I use uh, this video as a screenshot, and of course, like, I have zero attachment to this channel at all, so, like, I said, fine, and, uh, he's mostly a gaming channel, which I found was interesting, I haven't checked him in a while, but I went through some of his stuff, and I was, it's very interesting, I don't know, I feel like I, I feel like I kind of want to work with him, you know, I mean, I mean, obviously, like, using Quick Play, using that channel, but, I don't know, I I feel like I, I want to start working with him, but at the same time, I don't specifically because I feel like that's only because I've met another human being that, you know, I've actually talked to and actually, like, does gaming stuff on the internet. And he's only, like, just started doing that kind of stuff, so I don't, I think it it may be a little, like, too quick to ask him if he wants to do like a regular gaming cha gaming channel or something like that plus i don't even know how that would work since you know virus and stuff nobody's allowed to go outside or meet each other so that's that's a bit of a a left field curveball that i honestly kind of threw upon myself but i don't know if he if he uh if he does good stuff with his uh channel maybe I, maybe i'd consider him more better and if he's listening to this god no God knows why he would stay five minutes into a video for somebody talking to himself. If he is listening to this somehow, maybe 
maybe he'll reach out and talk to me or something like that. I probably should honestly just watch more videos of his, but I can't do that right now. I've got way too much work to do. And, um, but yeah, that's mostly what has been happening this past week. That, uh, for terrific warning video it was the first video I've ever had to surpass a thousand views. So look at that. That's a milestone in its own. Um, I had that offer from SBTV about the entertainment producer job. And I got the interview, uh, I think it was yesterday, or two days ago. The days are getting way out of hand. It was Wednesday. I remember it's Wednesday, because I specifically told them, let's interview on Wednesday. Um, they basically t They basically called in and told me that I had gotten the job without any sort of other questions or something like that. They did throw me one question on, like, what I would do for, like, different shows and stuff. And I gave some random bullshit answer that I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I feel like I should stand by what I said. But at the same time, I can't remember what I said. I don't know what, it, what I suggested for alleviating this, uh, entertainment gap that SBTV currently has. But... Maybe I can fix that, being the forefront runner for the entertainment producer's position. That's really cool. I, I feel that I've been granted a very unique opportunity and that nobody has ever done this before. And I am one of the first people at, S, at uh, Stevens Point to try and do uh, entertainment in its own self, which I think will be cool. There's definitely a lot of people on campus that are hungry for attention, so asking people to get in front of a camera probably shouldn't be that hard. The difficulty comes in hosting it and preparing the ideas for it. But we can. I'm going to cross that bridge when we get there, because as it is currently, I'm still not allowed to leave my house. Uh, I haven't been into like a legitimate store in like three months. That's wild, man. Um, I did start, uh, recording some gameplay videos for Quick Play. I wanna, I wanna get a good backlog for, with, like, playing with my friends and stuff like that. Um, just to have, like, a, a channel intro video ready. I have a music thing picked out and, um, and an animation ready for, for the whole thing, but, you know, I'm just gonna see how it goes. At the moment, I've kind of got myself busy with uh, with uh, school ending. I've got about two weeks left, and then I'll be free to do all this stuff full-time. Uh, assuming that I don't have a job by the end of the summer, which... I don't. I had a lifeguarding job last year, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think they'll be quite in full operation by the time uh, summer rolls around. Because, you know... I don't know when this whole quarantine is going to be lifted. I don't, I, people keep saying that, you know, we gotta, or people are keep saying that, you know, we gotta prepare for the summer for when the quarantine gets lifted. I don't think it's going to be lifted by then. I think they're being grossly over optimistic about that. But at the same time, you'd be a fool not to try and prepare for that kind of stuff. So here I am still thinking about summer and stuff like that. And it'd be nice to have the summer job as well because. I've been running low on money ever since the school year started. And it's not for a bad cause, too. I have I poured a lot of that summer money I got last year into the PC that I'm currently recording on. And it has been serving me well ever since. I cannot complain. Hopefully I can launch Quick Play with that as well. Won't be able to use a... Won't be able to use it at school, though, unless I can convince my parents that I need it. Which, granted that the job I'm going to get at school, I'm definitely going to be needing it for editing purposes and such. Or maybe I can just make do with the laptop, but, you know, after working on the PC, on this uh, PC, I definitely, it is definitely going to be hard to go back. Maybe, maybe I'll be better because of lack of options or something like that. But, there's definitely some things I'm going to miss about the about the PC, this version of uh, my Adobe stuff. The Creative Cloud is all right. It's not, it's not like the greatest thing in the world. I'd much prefer the versions where you got to pay for them and then that was it. 
uh, like I have a CS5 on my laptop, and that's working fine. After Effects is also on there as well, which I think kind of solves all my problems for, um, for like shows and such, because you get the animations for, from After Effects and the basic movie editor from uh, Premiere, so like, what more could I ask for as far as like a editing job goes? But yeah, that's probably the most exciting thing about the whole thing, is the, uh, the job I got from SBTV. Not the thousands of views that I got from that uh, one video, because, I mean, I'm not gonna, lo I'm not gonna go crazy, because I got a couple, f I got like 2,000 views on a, a video, or a thousand, I forgot to check. I'm gonna check right now, just because. But yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy, because like, People weren't there to see me, they were there to see, like, they were there because they were curious about the four terrific debacle and, like, trying to protect themselves as well. It's got 2,000. Look at that. But, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's less than a minute long and people still only stick around to 10 seconds. That's funny. People are so, uh, people have such little time on their hands that they see the video they're like, Okay, done. Bye. That that kind of reminds me. I kind of want to do a little bit of an experiment on how, like how view time is measured, because it does it does it track whether people are in the same tab or whether people are like still on the same video. Because that's kind of been a debacle I've had as like a viewer of these people that I love to watch, and I'm just wondering if my uh, viewing is counting towards their um, watch hours, and basically my debacle is that if you have your, if you're watching a video on your phone, and you go onto a computer that's connected to the same account, and you start watching that video, on your viewing history, it will show you've seen both of those videos, so does that mean that, does that mean you've stopped watching the first video on the phone and that the watch hours after that are just gone or does that mean that it's just paused and you can continue on later after that because I think that the way they do it is that they count like how long somebody has watched it from the first click and everything after that just kind of like goes to the wayside which is kind of a crappy way to think about that it's like it's a really, really pessimistic way to think about how watch hours are counted, and that's really the like that's the metric that people are looking at for like success and stuff like that. Because you know subscribers and view counts are totally out the window now, and people are only focused on how long people are staying on the platform, and that's just that's a that's kind of a sucky deal, but that's just what people have to do with and. That's what I'm going to like try and get my hat into once Quick Play starts. I am going to be trying to get that, but lately I've been feeling like so drained creatively, creatively wise. That's a word. Creatively wise because I have I've been working on these Facebook videos on uh on my Facebook profile f ever since like the beginning of this core quarantine event. And I've been keeping myself to oh, one video per week to try and like make keep myself paced out. And I'm having these stress dreams now where people are telling me that I've missed a week and when the next thing is going to come out. And I have to like scramble to think up of a, think up of a video, edit the video, and then put it out by the, the end of the day. And like the internet keeps dropping out and stuff like that. Only for me to wake up and be like, oh my god, it's just a dream. I have six days left to make this. And not that I've been good at making these th that these videos at all. I've been a, I've been rather lax in product producing them in a timely manner. These past two weeks, I've waited until Tuesday to start filming and creating it. And this last week, I uh, was like so beaten down and drained that I made like a recording of flashing lights, a police and emergency response team simulator. And just kind of like went off the rails with it. It's not good at all. It's really terrible. And I sort of... 
And I did a really annoying thing to me myself where I sort of kind of introduced Quick Play to the world with that, even though it really sucks. But that's, that's whatever. That, that can be over there and Quick Play can be its own thing and hopefully I can make it better intro sounds effects than a freaking helicopter. I was really just strapped for time and I just, I couldn't find a, I want the beginning to have like a spinning the spinning cue thing, I want it to be, like, spinning and make the, like, hard drive disc sound, you know, like, when it's powering down, it's like, that sort of sound, I want it to sound like that, but I couldn't find one that sounded good enough to me, so I, uh, I improvise, I didn't improvise, I went for the most easiest option and chose a helicopter noise, <sighs> hopefully I can do better at that than in the future. And hopefully that uh, those videos will get better as a uh, as time goes on, because I did a couple of specifically quick play videos for quick play. What am I thinking? I recorded a uh, Static Pod Eve of Souls, Eve of Souls Static Pod. I always get them mixed up. I recorded a gameplay of that, and it's a story game. So I kind of felt I kind of felt bad that I didn't feel bad. I I was ki I'm kind of content with how it turned out, but taking a step back, I kind of realized like I only talked about the game and just like what happened in it, which literally anybody else can do. So I don't, it didn't feel special to me at all. And I just kind of, that's what I'm trying to like break out into and hopefully, uh, hopefully I can, uh, professionalize my way through it that whole thing make it look a lot better than what it actually is I don't know I don't know how other people see things that's the great unknown of how this whole entertainment thing is going for me I just don't know how people are going to look at it because I fully fully expect that people are lying to me although that being said a far less people liked the last video I put up so there's definitely some people that are taking it with artistic view in mind. Not artistic view, uh, and enjoyment view in mind. One person did comment that they're loving the videos on that video. And I just like, please look at the other ones. Don't look at that one. That one's not great. Which has spurred me into thinking up of a premise. Just today, as a matter of fact, I've been going to the drawing boards in my mind and just thinking things up and it'd probably be easier after that whole mess of last week of this week rather last week I don't know it'd probably be better to do just a simple multiple personality bit where I'm arguing with myself that has multiple different personalities and they're all on screen at the same time I have a green screen so I can probably get away with a little bit of that I don't know, though. I, um, I'm in uncharted territories right now because I'm now, um, I am now the producer of a college, uh, entertainment, I don't want to say business, but it's sort of like its own entertainment thing, and now people are going to be looking at me with a sort of, I don't want to say nobility, but like, I'm the first one to be trying this sort of position, and whatever I do is going to be a uh, sort of standard for how things are going to be run there. And, you know, that's a little bit terrifying, because I do not believe that my stuff is very professionally made. Not yet, at least. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to be like at the end of this road, but I hope that I can keep my sanity and keep a production going that's good, at the very least, and hopefully, like, I can get some I can get some help from outside people on how to make things run a little bit smoother than I currently do things. But we'll see how it goes. I'm sure this is... The past me probably would have not even tried this whole thing. And, you know, I'd hate to, like, look at past me versus now me. But, you know, it just kind of feels like I am getting more comfortable with the idea of stepping out of my comfort zone and just kind of winging thing not winging things just more uh able to try things and see how they go i just 
I just I I want to learn how to do things and I'm I was sick and tired of just waiting around and watching other people do things. So now I'm going to try and do things myself. <sighs> Part of that watching other people do things is uh watching my brother go through the trials and tribulations of his office job and how much he's waiting for an animation job, which he got a call from just today about a a, a job that he was getting at. So I'm really happy for him. He's he <laughs> ran downstairs and was basically, oh my god, I got a call. This is this is this is super cool. Oh god, I'm gonna have to talk to my boss about this, and it's gonna suck. <laughs> That was really cool. That was that was a really awesome moment. Um What is this writing? Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry about the pause, but like I tried to look at my notebook for something and I saw something cut off and I'm like w- I don't remember writing this. It's talking about a quick play in the episodes that I do. And it kind of like goes back to how like absolutely nothing really special happened in them is that I, uh, I'm kind of struggling with finding a uh, time space that I can use because right now I'm trying for 20 minutes every single video. And at the moment it's all right for like content like keeping certain events in and spacing them out well enough it's not great but it's you know okay and the thing about that is that uh, like sometimes I'd be going along and then I'd think of a story to tell um during the whole thing and then I realized that I had about four or three minutes left and I would not be able to tell that story in the amount of time that I had left because you know if you haven't watched me in the past couple of these streams, which, you know, why why would you? You would know that I'm just very bad at getting words out there and getting things done in a timely manner as far as, like, conversations to myself go. And um, I guess I need to work on that, being a little more concise with the things that I do. And I guess that probably works. That probably, uh, you know what? That probably goes to... Uh, explain the length of these videos as well and why they're always an hour long i mean don't get me wrong i've i have been trying to go over an hour for each of these episodes and every time i didn't i consider that a failure but maybe i should just try to be a little more concise about things so you know what i'm gonna try and finish before 30 minutes is up or if by 25 minutes if i have literally nothing else to say but yeah, I'd always reach a point where I'm like, oh, I can actually start talking about this. And then I'd just like, for, I'd either forget to bring it up, something would happen in the game and take my attention away, or I'd, uh, or I'd just realize I'd run into a wall and have to cut it in half, which would really suck for people watching it if they did want to like listen to it. Because I would like put them out one day and then one day after that, much like how Game Grumps do. And, um,. It's kind of embarrassing just how much insp- or how much I'm uh, taking from the formula of Game Grumps, but you know I don't have much else experience other than that, so like I'm just gonna go with that. Hopefully that, hopefully I can just work with that as it goes. And speaking of like how I wanted Quick Play to go, I really wanted to like start recording the Wii games because there's just kind of like a little special spot in my heart for the Wii, and I kind of wanted to start off by doing the James Bond because it's a shooter people like shooters I don't know but uh, like I said last week the cables are so destroyed that I couldn't uh, get color or sound out of it and uh, so I've looked to uh, different methods and I started downloading the dolphin emulator it's been working so far I've been able to finagle with the controls and stuff to make me uh, play Super Mario Galaxy 2 So, you know, things are probably looking better. I could probably uh, do that whole thing and... I don't know. I feel kind of dirty using it on the Dolphin because, you know, it promotes people playing emulated games if they don't own them. 
and that's the thing about emulated games. I'm fine with emulating them just so long as that I own the specific thing or it's re or it's feasible to get the games themselves while also supporting who made them. Because if it's not possible to support the people who made it at the same time as like getting the, the same stuff, then I'm fine with emulating anything because like uh take take the original Mario 64 for example. There's been like no unless you count the Super Mario 64 DS there's been no like re-releases of that game and there's only only you're only able to play it on the Nintendo 64 so like unless you have a Nintendo 64 and you also happen to own Super Mario 64 there's no there's no way to like directly support Nintendo for the thing that they made which is kind of like the whole reason you know I would play the game to support them because I've, you know, probably liked the game, or at least am interested in it. Uh, but that's the thing. That's the thing. If there's, like, there's no physical way to support the people that made it, then it's probably fine emulating it. Not that not that modern games these days will be able to be emulated because of all of their online shenanigans that have to be jumped through. And, you know, once, once they uh, pull the plug on that, all those games are out the door. I was kind of making me wonder how long Team Fortress 2 is going to last because I think it's been out for like way longer than a decade. And it's just like, good lord. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I guess that's it. I promised myself I'd stop at 25 or 30, so naturally I'm just going to go the default. I'm just going to go the, what is it, non-offensive route and uh, go right in the middle of all of it. So, if you're listening to this, A, why are you? No, that's that's mean to say. If you're listening to this, thank you so much for watching. I, I can't believe that you made it this far. And uh, if you're me from the future who's lost your memories, uh, stay strong. I'll see you, bye.